The guy I bought the tank from was actually evicting a tenant. Super thick glass, um, real, actual real stand and canopy, like real wood. Oh look, some panda quarries maybe? Those panda quarries? We're back again on the same day. I'm sweaty again. Guys, this is freaking unbelievable. $100 paid for all of this stuff. We're back at it again in the summer Florida heat, picking up tanks for a great steal. This time it's an oldie, but a goodie. It's a 90 gallon tank, I believe, uh, but it's old school. It's brown, but it's old school, so it's real deal. Super thick glass, um, real, actual real stand and canopy, like real wood, no, uh, no press board stuff. But uh, the, real, the real kicker is the tons of extras, guys. They are almost literally falling out of the, the car here. Um, little 10 gallon tank, um, some filters, some, a lot of extra grab bag stuff, um, tops, etc. But let's go ahead and unpack this and uh, see what we all got. Take a look at all the stuff we got. It was a great deal. As soon as we're done going through some of the stuff, I'll share with you guys how much um, I paid for it. And then we will, uh, you know, you let me know if you think it's a good deal or not. But this is my first ever Fluval 110. I plugged it in when I was at the house before I left just to make sure it worked and it does. So I'm excited to have this 110. Oh, I picked up this little extra 10 gallon with um, these little decor things. I'm not a big fan of them as decor, although I'm happy to pick them up because I've been using them in my breeding setups, kind of like marbles. So maybe I'll have a video on that. Um, I didn't come up with it, but just kind of a unique thing. So normally I'd be like, ah, that's trash, but I'll actually keep those things and use them. Speaking of decor, we actually got some decent decor. There wasn't a ton of decor with the tank, not like this, but we got some nice pieces of lava rock. Uh, I like the pieces with like the holes in them. That's always cool. Um, fake, fake uh, wood, but you know, something decent, nice little chunk of rock there. I don't know if that's a, uh, I don't think that's lava rock. I'm not sure what that is. This is a cool looking piece. Not this one, but that's cool too. Um, this one. That's kind of neat. So yeah, rocks and stuff like that is always nice to pick up. Another little piece of fake, little wood. Some more, uh, looks like lava rock and some other, some other rocks in there. So some decent decor. And um, I left the tank. The tank, guys, is actually, check this out. I thought it was a 90 gallon tank. It's actually, I believe, a 110 gallon extra tall. Let me know if you've ever heard of this. It's clearly an older tank. Um, but it's a four foot tank and it's 18 inches, just like a 75 or a 90. And instead of being, uh, I think a 90 gallon is supposed to be like 25 inches tall. This sucker is 30 inches tall. So I did some quick, uh, online research and I believe it's a, they call a 110 extra tall or extra high or whatever. So never heard of that tank before. Thought it was a 90. It was listed as a seven, as a 55. Actually, there were only two pictures of this tank. And it was listed for 200 bucks. I didn't pay 200. I'll tell you what I paid at the end. It was listed for 200 and it says it's a 55 gallon tank. I thought it was a 75 or a 90. Turns out it's a 110. So not only did we get our, uh, we got some nets and stuff here. Um, oh, this is actually a nice little, looks like a glass, maybe for the 10 gallon. And uh, here's the top to the, top to the fluval. But I did kind of sneak peek because I kind of packed some of the stuff so I know I kind of cheated. I know some of the good things that are in here actually. And uh, usually stuff with a motor is a good find. So we picked up some of these power heads. So that was a nice find. And some air pumps, um, a few extra air pumps, a power head, a pH monitor, Not didn't even notice this, no idea how that works. Play around with that later maybe, never seen that before. A um, Bunch more nets and scrubbers, which I usually just kind of repurpose or sell with a tank. Um, once again, showing the age Holy crap, that's a sale fin molly. Showing the age of this stuff. Whisper 900, um, who knows when they made this. Oh look, some panda quarries maybe? Those panda quarries? Old school, this is like some 80s stuff. Um, 1976 and 1978, 1988. So this is some old, old stuff guys. Um, pretty neat to see. I actually, I, I saved some of this stuff. I actually got some of it up there too. Some of the older uh, aquarium stuff, so. Not that I'm a collector by any means, but when I see it, I keep it. So maybe I'm a collector. Um, more power heads. I don't know what kind of power head that is. A lot of this stuff is ancient. Um, this Fluval 110 isn't though, which is awesome. Um, in the pictures, I had no idea what the accessories were. Some more air pumps. Holy crap. A little extra, tiny little heater. We got a 
thing of fish food. So I knew there was more than one air pump. I didn't realize there were seven when I was first going through the stuff. And tons of air accessories and gang valves and all that stuff, which not the most expensive stuff, but it definitely all adds up. And it's just less dollars, $3 here, $5 there, $10 there that I'll be spending over the next few months. A nice little score, guys. Um, I actually ended up paying $140 for all of this. So let me know if you think it's a good deal. There's a really unique story behind this one. The guy I bought the tank from was actually evicting a tenant from his property. So I believe this is like the tenant's tank they kind of like left behind. So it's one of the reasons why I was kind of able to get a good deal. He had listed it at a, at a, at a cheaper price at 200 bucks for everything because you know it's older and this and that. That's actually how I got this 10 gallon for free. It wasn't in any pictures or any of the ads, but when I was at the house with this guy and we had to, I put some sweat equity into this one guys. The cool news is I know this tank doesn't leak because it was holding water when I picked it up. The bad news is me and this guy had to like scoop out the water with little buckets because this house was a house that he had evicted his tenants from and there was like nothing there. So, um, 90 degree weather freaking scooping out water in this house with like no air conditioning and stuff like that it was definitely um an interesting ordeal but well worth it for 140 bucks guys you picked up this tank it was listed at 200 and like i said we got all these extras um the main things are like the tank the stand and this is a nice solid stand guys the fluval 110 uh the extra 10 gallon tank was a sweet pickup because like i said it wasn't any of the pictures or anything i just kind of saw it in another room and I was like, hey, would you throw that in for free? And he's like, yeah, no problem. We're back again on the same day. I'm sweaty again. This is like my third outfit change. And it's because we picked up another score. Guys, this is freaking unbelievable. This is a 125 gallon tank and stand with all the extras. This is a, it's a salt water setup. So we're talking about rock, lights, overflows, sump, the pumps. I mean, you name it, glass lids. There's a 75 gallon tank with all the same accompaniments um, and rock, etc. And the best part about this is, you guys have been following for a long time. I think the last time, actually this is only the second 125 gallon tank I've ever had. The first one is still sitting right here. And this is the tank that I picked up for a hundred bucks. Oh man, probably about a year ago now. Uh, the tank, the stand, there was filters and everything. So that was probably one of the best deals I've ever gotten was a hundred bucks for that. 125 and granted it is black and um this is the steel from earlier today guys kind of uh got it testing water cleaned it up a bit um still not 100 percent, but a lot better than it was looking earlier and uh <laughs> the best part about this as you can see it's, it's a, they're cruddy they're in bad shape but a hundred dollars guys 100 dollars paid for all of this stuff um the gentleman had got it from his grandfather um who was keeping tanks and then he was going to kind of set it up but decided against it so uh yeah i'm gonna go get this stuff unpacked and we'll kind of dig through it but uh so <laughs> unbelievably excited these guys were definitely diamonds in the rough but i'm gonna make them pretty i promise you guys this is the uh the 90 gallon that i thought was a 75. i'm really bad at the uh looking at a 90 versus 75. the only difference is it's a little taller 75 and a 90 the same width same length but uh 90 is a little taller but this one's looking cleaner already. I uh, gotten a lot of the gravel out, a lot of salt crud, guys. Haven't even uh, messed with any of the sumps yet. But uh, been using some of the uh, my tools of the trade here. Some of my favorite tools to use when I'm cleaning old crusty tanks is a little razor blade. I got this little scoop here that I've been using to get out the gravel. I always make sure when I'm using it not to get near the sides. Same thing with the razor blade. I don't I don't want to mess with uh, any. Uh, nicking of the silicone i did have these guys holding water for a few days so they're definitely watertight so i'm excited about that um, i'll i'll probably use a rag and some barkeeper's friend around the outside to or around the um the seals to kind of clean the seals because i don't want to bring the blades close uh that 110 which is that first tank we had picked up earlier in the day uh, that one was already pretty clean guys so i mean it's almost ready to go i'm going to polish it up a little bit it's holding water it's a it's a weird tank or it's a weird how it fits in the stand as you can see here it doesn't fit on top it doesn't recess in it slides from the back so it kind of grooves in like that and it kind of uh it's got to go behind it and then push forward but i'm gonna keep at it here and we'll uh touch base with you guys soon quick update on the progress guys i'm trying something new since these are some pretty pretty big tanks and i really can't manhandle them even though i'm a big guy if these are 55s even 75s i literally kind of throw them around put them on the ground really kind of get all the substrate out but I was able to get the vast majority of the substrate out of that little scooper thing in my hands and a net. But what I'm going to do now is set it up. I got this canister filter running on it. I'm going to try to get it cleared up. Um, 
leave it holding water and then that way I'll be able to see kind of where the last spots I need to kind of get some scraping done, how bad this glass is gonna be, how clean it's gonna be. Um, one thing I noticed on this tank and on this tank, these tanks are easily 10 plus years old, easy. But these seals guys are like, I don't know if someone resealed this, but they're like freaking brand new. I mean, these seals are not even, I'm not worried about these seals at all. Obviously it doesn't leak, but sometimes it doesn't leak, but then you see some crappy seals where it's like, ah, anytime now. But these, the seals on these tanks are amazing. So I wanna do the same thing with this 125 here. You see I got that AquaClear 110, which we um, picked up with this tank right here. So we're gonna put that to use already and kind of uh, help that clear out and clear up this tank. And um, I'll touch base with you guys here in a little bit. Putting the canister filter and AquaClear on the tanks really helped clean them up. But at the end of the day, I ended up using a new method and broke out my shop vac and ended up sucking out the remaining sand and gravel and water with the shop vac, which really kind of helped expedite the process. I didn't get any footage of that, but here are the tanks. Once they were cleaned, I thought they all turned out really nice. Um, for older tanks, they cleaned up pretty nice, not any really noticeable scratches. I ended up selling these tanks and then using that money to buy the setup of 40 breeders and 55s that I'm currently raising out the uh, the Super Red and the Calico Plecos in. So it worked out really well. Um, being able to you know find these deals and kind of you know in a lot of cases keep them and in other cases sell them to buy what I need you know has worked out in my favor um, in growing the fish cave. For a brief moment, and I mean brief, I did consider setting up a saltwater tank or two, but messing with all the salt crud and just knowing how much you know additional time would go into it, I decided against it for now. You guys have seen enough of my sweaty face for one video, but if you want to check out some more tank call videos, you can click there for more fish tank antics right there. Over there, right? Okay. As always, guys, stay positive and stay passionate.